Take that with me yet. And let's see if we get a workbench recipe. That would be actually pretty sweet. Yes! Oh, beautiful. That is nice. Hey guys, welcome back to more 7 Days to Die Alpha 18 on our permadeath world. Before we get into anything, let me show you the mod that I'm using for the UI. It's a UI only mod, nothing functional, and it's called SMX Enhanced. It's made by Cerulean. If you go to the 7 Days to Die forums, you can Google, uh, you can search for it, Google for it. You can search for it, or you can go and use the mod launcher and download the modlets from there. They're called SMX, and they were made by Cerulean. SMX UI, SMX Hood, and so on. So the reason I'm not linking it myself in the description is because YouTube is quite douchebaggy about this whole thing. Yeah, so if you have an external link, that is not a YouTube link, YouTube at any point of time can deem the external link to the 7 Days to Die forums or to Nexus Mod where you can also get it as unsafe. And if they deem it as an unsafe location, not the direct link, but the whole website, if they think the website is not a 100% safe website, then they're gonna block the video or even delete it because I'm linking to it. So that's why I can't do this. It has happened to people linking to Minecraft websites, just official Minecraft websites. It's happened to people who officially, oh nice, um, have linked to Roblox websites, so I'm not really interested in getting into trouble for linking to external sites and locations. So if you search for it on Nexus links or you search for it on the Seven Days that I forums, you can find SMX by Cerulean. Now back to the game. We are on on the way to the trader. I made a couple of buckets and filled them up with water over there at our water source before I left to the trader, which is over here. And that is just so we can try to see if we can still get an infinite water source together, which would be pretty awesome. Um, the trader is some somewhere on the ass of the planet. I don't know how I did not, how I missed it. I followed the road, but I think it's one of those side roads that potentially lead to it or some other quirky way, probably going all the way around. Once we actually get to the trader, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to get back the normal way, but I thought the road would follow to it, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So let's just nerd pull up here. Let's hold ev hope everything is gonna go all right. And then hopefully we're gonna be near the trader. I mean, we're getting really, really hot and it's getting late. I do not want to be caught out here in this absolute unfriendly area, um, not being able to get back. Oh, we can actually jump up. That is amazing, okay? I actually did not think that we would be able to do that. So let's get a little bit of energy back and then jump up the rest if we can. Nice. Oh, come on, quick, quick, quick. Yes, we made it. This is awesome. Okay, so the trader should literally just be in front of us. And then we're gonna go back to the base after the trader. When we, uh, the trader, we're not gonna get a lot of money. I hope I'm just gonna get a quest that's actually near um, where I have my town. Oh, that is the road. Holy balls, man. I walk completely assways. That is so not cool. Luckily, we can skim the mountain like that to not get any fall damage, but that is really radical. I mean, it's literally that little path here, most likely, and I walked all the way around here thinking that's bringing me to the trader. Shows me I'm probably completely patched. I had 160 water before we left. Ah, okay, this is pretty straight down. We have to be careful about the whole, oh, wow. Okay, so how are we gonna get down here? I'm not sure, we probably have to go over there. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice, excellent. So, uh -huh, yes, we haven't actually gone to the trader yet, so we didn't have um, the trader unlocked even, but that trader looks awesome. I wish we could stay there overnight for hard night. It has a lot of concrete walls. Let's see if there's anything, anything else to pick up. Now, I, I scrapped a lot of cars on the way, so we have a lot of things that we can sell. I will sell a lot of things that we may or may not need later, so, don't worry about it. Um, I know I'm aware of it. So because I do get the comments of people saying, oh, you shouldn't have sold this. You shouldn't have sold this. When it comes to the permanent death world, a lot of things I will be selling just to get the money because I'm not going to be um, let us speak, uh, surviving long enough, most likely to make use of some of the things. So let me see your inventory. I will be selling this low level battery. Um, I wish I could sell my high level battery, but I can't go back to the base right now. We're going to sell this. We're going to sell all the magazines I already had. Definitely going to be selling this armor. I'm not going to be interested in armor that slows me down with stamina. I will be selling all this because there will be more radiators to get. And this here we will sell as well. And I think that's it. It's not a lot of money, but it's a good start on... Um, oh, yeah. Okay, we need the headlights for possibly... Let me see. Repair kits. There's a forge. Very good. Is there a workbench anywhere? That would be pretty insane if there would be a workbench. Let me see. Okay, no workbench here. And what do we have here? Oh, a junk turret. Another junk turret. That would be awesome. We found one already. And that would just really be sweet. 
Oh, look at that. That nail gun is 200. Oh, yeah, we're going to sell all of that. There we go. That's another 35. And I think we're done with selling things now. There we go. 1.7 kilometers east. That is probably exactly where we need to go. So that's a fetch quest. I've got I like it. Thank you. There we go. And we need a vehicle soon. So I think I'm going to have to go into intellect very soon to unlock the bike because we're just not we're not gonna be able to find one. Oh, actually one of the things that i want to check is also these guys here okay that is a working forge very nice is that a working chemi station no it's untouched but do we get the recipe no we don't okay i'm not gonna take that with me yet and let's see if we get a workbench recipe that would be actually pretty sweet yes oh beautiful that is nice Okay, oh, another lead cap battery, nice. And some nails. Okay, let's actually uh, wrench all this and see if we get anything else. I mean, we're still near the trader. It's still before half ten, so we might as well get those two cars and see if there's anything else we can sell. I think we got another lead cap battery. If it's a high level one, that would be really sweet. So let's see what we get. Oh, level four. That is 496. That is such sweet money. We have actually batteries at home as well. We have one battery at home, so we're not completely out um, of batteries. Let's see what we're going to get here. Oh, very nice. I like this. And what do we have? Oh, more wood. Okay, that's okay. We actually can make all the arrows now, I think, that I still can make. 72 very nice i like it so let's see what we're gonna get from this car okay let's see what we got okay nothing new but we got an engine as well which sells for 200 we have two engines at home so i can sell this one so this is good money i mean oh wow this is a padded hood i'm gonna so wear this that is sweet uh, the padded hood is very good because it doesn't have a stamina penalty. It just has higher durability. What am I actually wearing right now? I think I already have. Yes, we have a level 2 one. So this is more durability. So we're going to swap them out and um, go to the trader now and see what else we can sell. Okay, so let's see. We sell the engine. We sell the battery. We sell all of these. We sell all of the oil, which gives us more money as well. And sell these brass ones excellent okay so now we're level 25 very good just from selling stuff we have everything now so what Thanks i want to use the money here. actually for Coming right here. now is to buy drinks it's definitely what i need um only water okay we have some goldenrod tea which is 48 yeah we're actually lacking some food so we're gonna buy that we're gonna buy that yeah, let's buy it all and um, then go back to the trader and see if he has actually any uh, clue. Do you have any uh, clue? No, do you have any duct tape? You have 10 duct tape. Okay, definitely get that because we need a lot of it. And I think that's it. Okay, one of the things I just noticed, and I kind of knew that obviously before, but it's only coming, uh, reminding me every time I do it. Looting all of these garbage bags, the amount of glue that you find is just ridiculous it's actually really really good it's not it's not all the time it's random and sometimes not as often but you do find it frequently enough that you notice it and that is really really good so i really like that even though we need a lot of look tape for everything now that the balance that was you being able to find actually a lot of glue as well so we're nearly home well we're not nearly home but oh this guy i'm definitely not gonna take on freestyle baby not happening there will be no freestyling with this guy. He hits everything so hard. And he definitely can two-shot me. But not only that, he hits me. The vulture is going to come. It's going to suck the rest of my juice out of my bones. It's not happening. Okay, do we have actually points? We have four points. So what I would like to do is go heavily into intellect next. So we can potentially build the bicycle. Because that would just be absolutely brilliant. I mean, we can make a workbench now. So I think... With the, between the workbench and the forge and intellect, we should be able to get some transportation, which would be really, really good for after the Horton or even slightly before now, that we actually can really quickly go through the rest of the town and get some resources. So with the workbench queued up, I'm going to 
One, two, three, four, five. Get my tools upgraded as well. And we definitely want to queue up more forged iron. Here we go. There's another 50 we can queue up because it costs 50 now for us to make. Oh, yes, the workbench is finished. That is brilliant. We're going to put the workbench right here. Um, yeah, let's put it right here beside it. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to put the cement mixer probably just here under the window or something and now we can make the cement mixer as well which is really really awesome so the cement mixer now is another 25 forged iron it's four springs one engine and 10 mechanical parts which we actually have so if we take the engine we take the mechanical parts there we go excellent and what else did we need for the cement mixer four springs we should definitely have the springs now one two three four we took a lot of cars apart and that's where we got them from which you guys pointed out correctly which was really really awesome and i think that's it so let's go and queue up a cement mixer very nice now i need a couple of more forged iron there we go we need another 11 and then we can also queue up a axe a new axe there we go all right, we have now a place here. Let's turn that actually off, that land claim block uh, bounce. Uh, excellent, so the green lines are gone. We're gonna put a door here. Now we're crafting an ax in the moment, so that will take a while. And then we're gonna put, actually we have, do we have enough resources to make a metal door straight away? I think we do. Yeah, let's, let's wait until we have this and then make a metal door. So the idea is basically that we leave the door open here and lure them this direction. But it also means that we want probably let me just get rid of that and that we want a three wide corridor like this there we go i know i'm wasting basically parts of my base but hey ho so be it and i think three would be wide enough there we go And that would be wide enough to have um, no traffic jam, that they're jumping on top of each other, all the jazz. And then we're going to put a ceiling on it anyway, which is going to be connected to this. So we can actually go from the top as well if we want to and just let them pound on the wall while we kill them from the top. But this is basically it. We're going to go 25 blocks out or some nonsense like that, like 15 blocks probably start with. And then get more wood if our trees grow in or nearby and make a lot of barbed wire and we fill up this whole area with barbed wire simple as that then we're gonna have our turret probably sitting right here on this pointing in there shooting everything in the face that it can is our cement mixer finish our cement mixer is done yes beautiful things are coming together now guys and we're gonna put that there and we can still get in and out can we let me see yeah, we're just gonna have to turn around and um, this will allow us now to make concrete mix very good stone sand and we have a lot of stone we have a lot of this we don't have a lot of sand but i think it's enough to start making the initial concrete oh that is brilliant excellent let's do it beautiful look at that that is really really nice because that means we can now upgrade our front of the base with concrete that's awesome so we don't need to worry about anything. So let's make that big metal door and um, put that downstairs. Door, there we go. And this is steel, I think. It's a vault door which requires steel. I don't have steel. This is requiring a vault door level three powered. Oh, wow. Another thing you guys mentioned is the ladder to the roof because you were saying that the zombies can actually attack from the roof. This is the only ladder I can see. <laughs> and let's climb up there there we go look at that so there is actually a ladder through the roof that is pretty intense and oh look at that a backpack okay very nice and that's it so we need to make another wrench so we can wrench these guys actually you guys were saying that i can use the pickaxe and get something out of it let me see okay i only get iron i'm not getting any brass unless this is not what you guys meant on radiators yeah, I don't think you guys meant these guys to be uh, giving us radiators. I think it's the radiators in the actual houses. But yeah, so let's remove the ladder. So that they can't come up. And oh, it's only 500. Very good. So yeah, I'm going to destroy the whole ladder so they can't really climb up. Because we don't need the ladder. And that way they can't attack us from the top. So just get a little bit more iron. 
And we're getting good resources now. I mean, resource-wise, we're doing really well at a very good pace now. Okay, this is all stone. So we have to just be careful if something is coming chasing down the hole that we can get back out. But this should go all the way down to bedrock, nearly, that uh, vein. Or at least... Oh, look at that. A little bit of rock. Well, there's no harm in mining it out a little bit to make it more roomy so we don't get killed when something jumps down. Oh, nice. Getting good experience for that as well, actually. Very, very nice. I like it. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get more barbed wire. There we go. Very nice. Let's make another 25. That should be enough for now. There we go. And we can put that here. We also have to take... We have to make another wrench. So we're going to have to get some more forged iron, which is fine. Anything else? Did I just hear something growl? No. These trees are nearly in. Like, they have to... I think they have two more growth stages to get to this level. And um, then they're 1,200 or something like that. I'm not really sure. But they should go up to 1,200. So we can fight zombies very easily here. But we have to, of course, make sure that this is all upgraded. So we need uh, cobblestone rocks. Which means we also need a lot more clay. Which I have to actually sort out. But first, let's make the infinite water source. So we're just going to put it right here in the ground beside us somewhere. Um, not too far away, leave it here. So let's dig a hole. Okay, here we go. Made a nice little 4x4, four four, uh, sorry, 2x2. Two two. Let's upgrade that because I think water seeps out if you don't upgrade all the blocks or something. I hope we don't have to upgrade the diagonal blocks because that would just be annoying. So I hope we can leave it dirt underneath. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We should be able to one-shot these guys with... Yeah, we can. Beautiful. Uh, this is an iron hammer, which does a serious amount of power attack damage. And it actually takes care of these with one hit. Now, Egger still needs two or three hits. The wine dude guy needs two or three hits. So it's definitely not something that we can use as one for all. But it definitely helps during Horde Night. So let's uh, put this water here. There we go. Now, if we pick up a bucket again... Yes, it leaves this little corner. That's what I was hoping for because that means you can pick it up again and uh, place it down. Very good. I like it. Let's see how many of those we can put down here. There we go. And we're going to get into the base again through our ramp on the, on the back side, which is fine. But here on the front, we want to make sure we have this completely covered in barbed wire. Now, this barbed wire, they should ignore as a block in the sense that they just walk through it because they shouldn't see this as a block that blocks the entrance. Very good. I like it. Look at that. We can put another three right here. That is beautiful. Okay, so let's um, upgrade our blocks all the way through so that they don't get damaged by random things hitting them. And then what we can do is for them not to come from the outside here, we're going to put all the way around the base spikes, wood spikes. And that will definitely prevent them from walking into the wood spikes and um, force them more into the direction of our pathway. I think. I hope. Anyway, we need more wood. Let's close this up, actually, here. Um, no, we can't. We have to do that from the inside. Okay, let's actually upgrade these guys here first. There we go. Nice. I love it. We get so much experience from upgrading all this. It's awesome. So how many more do we make? 500. Okay. And then once this is upgraded, we can put our last one in here that we're going to fully upgrade then as well to cobblestone rocks. And then that's done. All right. I think day five is pretty much done. We don't want to go too far into day six because, um, well, it should be pretty much an episode per day. So what I'm going to do quickly now, we're going to finish this episode now. But what I want to do is I never can see that ladder. We definitely have to paint it like blue or green dyed or something. And um, let's turn this off here. What we definitely have to do is get the concrete. There we go. How many more do we need? Oh, we need three more and then we have... It doesn't matter. So we take them with us. And now we can upgrade these blocks here to concrete. Look at that. Nice. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Very nice. And we have to get these blocks above here as well. Because I think what's going to happen is that the zombies will hit these blocks on the top. And that's it. 
We're just gonna upgrade them again then with reinforced concrete and that should hopefully be enough. That was like less than a hundred? That was good. So let's put the door right here. Now the door has to be facing outwards because I don't want them to stand in the door. I want it to be in this block, but facing outwards in line. Excellent. And can we upgrade it? Okay, that was forged. Oh, wow, that was forged iron. I didn't know. I oh, okay. And now we need more forged iron. Okay, so I think we're going to queue up some more forged iron. We're going to upgrade this again. And that means in an emergency, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this door open to lure them here. But in an emergency, we're just going to close the door. And then they will start attacking the walls beside the door or whatever is weaker. If the door is the weakest, they will attack the door. If this is the weakest, they will attack this. But that doesn't matter. We can close the door in a pinch just to be um, saving ourselves a little bit of time in case they're about to come through. Or we just have a few more left, but everything is very weak. All those shenanigans. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always feel spaz and happy gaming